New at 6, a school pinches pennies. A team figures out a way to save energy equivalent to taking 19 cars off the road. Dan Edwards shows you how ingenuity is paying off. Well, you want to see the key to energy savings? Well, it's turning this down and these off. A simplistic energy program designed by Greg Smith, delivering big energy savings. With Tip City School District, we've saved almost uh, $12,000, about $11,600 in the first five months. It feels very comfortable in here. I yes. Mean, so it's like 74 degrees or so in here? 74 degrees is, is what we've set the set point at. Set points controlled by this central computer. Every HVAC control is at their fingertips. Every thermostat, every light switch, every fan. The, the facility management sure. can, can raise it and lower it. It's like programming your thermostat at home, right? Exactly, yeah. just on a much larger scale. Well, the district has also energized the green team comprised of students and faculty come up with additional energy savings estimated at twelve to fifteen thousand dollars with no capital expense whatsoever from the school district uh, and or the taxpayers well tip city superintendent dr john cronauer is looking at other ways to keep more money in the district's pocket that we're trying to spend their dollars as, as efficiently and as wisely as we possibly can while still providing quality instruction. Smith tells me much of the savings simply come from behavioral changes. A lot of things you can do is, is simply turn off lights. Uh, simply turn off your computer. Don't open up doors and windows and prop them open in air-conditioned spaces. While utilizing natural lighting, lowering lights, and energy costs. We basically offer the school district a, a no-cost program and so if the program doesn't deliver, you know, we, we make no money. So we truly believe in what we're doing, and the district truly believes in the program as well. So therefore, you know, I hate the cliche, but it really is a win-win solution. For School Patrol in Tip City, Dan Edwards, 2 News on your side.